All right, now moving into calendar, we are still in the month of August because it, there is 31 days in August. And remember yesterday, can you guys remember what day it was yesterday? Yesterday was the 24th. That means today, we're gonna move a day over, it's the 25th. So today is Tuesday, or Tuesday the 25th, 2020. So now moving on to our months of the year. Remember there's 12 months of the year. There's a song that I'm gonna teach you guys. It's really easy, it's a catchy little tune that's gonna help you guys memorize all the months of the year, all right? So some of you guys already heard it. If you didn't, just listen and soon you'll sing along. We'll probably do it twice, ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. We're gonna do it one more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. All right, now moving over to our seasons. We are still in the summer season. And if you guys have your air on, or if you guys have to fan yourselves, it's because it's still hot. And if it's still hot, if you look outside, it's probably still sunny. All right, beginners, now we're gonna do devotions in just a minute. All right, beginners, it's our second day of devotions, and today we are learning about ants. Okay, beginners, go ahead and follow along. Today we are learning about ants. Maybe you've seen ants walking on the sidewalk, or in the grass, or even in your house. Ants are small, but they are very strong. They can carry something five times more than they do. Ants spend most of their time working to gather food and taking care of their nests. When a job is too hard for one ant to do, it will go and gather other ants to help. Ants don't talk like people, but they can share messages by touching each other's antennas together and by leaving trails for other ants to smell. When the ant works together, they can carry big things that are too heavy for one ant to carry alone. Sometimes you feel small, but you can do work too. You can help at home, at school. When there is a lot of work to do, you might need to ask for help or help someone else, just like an ant. It makes God happy when we work together and help each other do our best. Great job. All right, beginners, we're gonna go ahead and answer some questions this time. Now, I want you guys to talk back to me in the camera, okay? Go ahead and shout your answers to me. Um, if you need to think about it, go ahead and pause. All right, our first question is, what kinds of things are the ants in this picture carrying? Can you guys see closely? Let's see. Ooh, there's an ant right here. I'm not sure what he's carrying there. I'm thinking maybe a chip. And then the other ant here, and if you look closely, hmm, I think he's carrying an olive from the chips. Wow, and look at all these other ants. That one has a cherry. Second question. How can, or how much can one ant carry? Now remember that question they told us earlier? They said an ant can carry five times its weight. That is a lot. That's like one ant carrying five ants on his back. And the next question is, what is a job you can do to help at home or at school? What's something that you do to help your mom and dad or your sibling? Or what's something you have done when you were at school and you helped me? I know a lot of you guys were big helps opening the door. You guys helped by being line leaders. What's some stuff that you guys do to help? Go ahead and tell me. Great. Now our last question is, what do you think God wants, or why do you think God wants us to work together? Why do you think God wants us to work together? I don't know about you, but I think the reason God wants us to work together because it shows that um, our kindness and that's how we make friends, when we're kind and we are eager to help one another, just like the ants are. And our Bible verse is, take a lesson from the ants. 
you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and be wise. So they're saying it's a wise thing to help one another. I think that's pretty smart. And it's Proverbs 6.6. 6. So go ahead and repeat after me. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and be wise. Proverbs 6.6. 6. Great job, beginners. See All right, beginners, I hope you guys like learning about ants. And maybe next time you guys see an ant, you can think of their strength and how they work as a team and work together.